and it's a very busy day. A lot of people coming down, running out of oxygen. Welcome to Watch Mojo, and today we're counting down the most dangerous activities for tourists around the world. Never thought I'd do this in my life, go down a volcano, but that yeah, was amazing. Number 20, running of the reindeer in Anchorage, Alaska. The running of the reindeer adds a festive twist to traditional running events. Make some noise, people, come on! While the event aims for a lighthearted atmosphere, it introduces unique challenges. Navigating slippery surfaces and interacting with these unpredictable animals requires a careful balance between holiday cheer and safety consciousness. As runners dash through the winter wonderland, the chilly Alaskan air adds an extra layer of excitement to this unconventional and seasonally themed race. They're not running out of fear, they're not running out of panic, they're just like, oh, there's the group, let's go catch up to them. Number 19, zip lining in Orocovis, Puerto Rico. Imagine an exhilarating yet inherently risky zip lining experience amid lush rainforests and scenic landscapes. Three, two, one, go! Participants glide along cables, taking in breathtaking views of the natural surroundings. While safety measures are in place, the high-speed nature of zip lining makes this a favorite among adrenaline enthusiasts. Oh, wow! The immersive journey through Puerto Rico's vibrant ecosystems, combined with the rush of soaring above the treetops, transforms ziplining into a memorable and heart-pounding escapade. Oh my oh god, man. That was insane. It was amazing. All right. Number 18, cliff diving in Negril, Jamaica. The cliffs of Negril, Jamaica beckon thrill-seekers to the adrenaline rush of cliff diving. Popular spots like Rick's Cafe provide platforms at varying heights for daring leaps into the crystal-clear Caribbean Sea. The activity demands precision and awareness of water conditions, adding an element of excitement to Jamaica's picturesque coastline. The turquoise waters below and the stunning coastal backdrop enhance the thrill of this gravity-defying activity. Are you okay? You've been acting a little unusual all day. I think I've got the post-traumatic stress from the cliff dive. Number 17, sandboarding in Huacachina, Peru. Huacachina, a desert oasis in Peru, invites adventurers to try their hand at sandboarding on towering sand dunes. Boarders carve down the slopes, resembling the experience of snowboarding amid the arid and captivating landscape. While the soft landing provides a safety cushion, navigating the sandy terrain demands balance and control. Ooh, baby, yeah, this feels good. The panoramic views of the vast desert surrounding Huacachina add to the allure of sandboarding, making it an exhilarating fusion of nature and the sheer joy of gliding down South America's iconic sand dunes. Number 16, shark cage diving in Huntsby, South Africa. They were so close, you kind of forget that they're, they're sharks. Huntsby, known as the Great White Shark Capital, offers a unique and adrenaline-charged opportunity for cage diving with these formidable marine predators. Participants submerge themselves in a protective cage, coming face to face with great white sharks. While operators prioritize safety, the unpredictable nature of these creatures adds an element of thrill to this close encounter. The combination of the underwater world, the powerful presence of sharks, and the controlled environment of the cage make shark cage diving in Huntsby unforgettable. They're coming right up to the cage. It is so scary and so awesome. Number 15, heli skiing in Revelstoke, Canada. Revelstoke in British Columbia, Canada stands as a mecca for heli skiing enthusiasts, offering access to remote mountainous terrain via helicopter. And that means skiers and snowboarders get to take on untouched snow and incredibly difficult descents. The breathtaking landscapes of the Canadian wilderness, paired with the rush of heli skiing down untouched slopes, creates an unparalleled adventure for advanced skiers and snowboarders. Number 14, paragliding in Interlaken, Switzerland. Interlaken, nestled between the stunning lakes of Thun and Brienz in Switzerland, provides a captivating backdrop for paragliding enthusiasts. Gliders launch from elevated points, soaring gracefully over lakes and valleys. The sport's inherent reliance on wind conditions and altitude adds an element of unpredictability. The panoramic views of the Swiss Alps, combined with the serene experience of gliding through the air, make it worth the risk for some. Go, go, get your feather bed, go, go, get your hay wagon, go, go, get your bubble wrap, go, go, get your parasail, parakeet, paraglider, parasol.
Number 13. Ice Climbing in Ure, Colorado Ure, known by some as the Switzerland of America, offers ice climbers a frozen playground amid stunning winter landscapes. The Ure Ice Park features frozen waterfalls and vertical ice walls, attracting climbers equipped with specialized gear. The dynamic and challenging nature of ice climbing introduces a thrilling dimension to this cold weather adventure. I personally had the worst case of screwing barfies I think I've ever had. I thought I was going to throw up. My hands are so cold. As climbers ascend the icy formations against the backdrop of Colorado's snow-covered peaks, the raw beauty of the frozen terrain is pure adrenaline fuel. Go! Number 12. Bungee Jumping at Victoria Falls in Zambia and Zimbabwe How are you doing? Oh, not all right. <laughs> Bungee Jumping at Victoria Falls provides a breathtaking freefall experience against the backdrop of one of the world's most majestic waterfalls. Jumpers take the plunge from the Victoria Falls Bridge, suspended over the Zambezi River. The proximity to the powerful falls and the sheer vertical drop create an unforgettable adrenaline rush. Five, four, three, two, one, bungee. <laughs> The roar of the cascading water and the mist rising from the gorge make bungee jumping at Victoria Falls iconic for those seeking an extraordinary leap into nature's grandeur. That was fantastic. Number 11. Whitewater rafting in Futaleufu River, Chile. The Futaleufu River in Chile stands as a whitewater rafting haven, attracting enthusiasts with its challenging Class 4 and 5 rapids. Navigating the tumultuous waters demands teamwork, skill, and the ability to read the river's dynamic currents. The unpredictable nature of the river, set against the stunning backdrop of Patagonian landscapes, adds an element of excitement to this exhilarating water adventure. Rafters challenge the rapids and take in the pristine scenery in an exploration of Chile's natural wonders. Number 10. Running with the Bulls in Pamplona, Spain I'm ready. I'm walking tall. You think you're ready to run with the bulls? Often criticized for its danger and cruelty, running with the bulls in Pamplona is a centuries-old tradition, marking the San Fermin Festival. Participants dash through narrow streets, sharing the route with charging bulls. While culturally significant, the race has witnessed injuries and fatalities. Navigating the unpredictable behavior of these powerful animals requires courage and caution, underscoring the importance of understanding the event's risks. The run spans more than half a mile, offering a brief yet intense encounter with the bulls. Number 9. Hiking the Huashan Plank Walk in China the Huashan Plank Walk is a thrilling yet perilous trek through narrow pathways attached to steep cliffs. Offering panoramic views, the trail demands nerves of steel to navigate rickety planks secured by chains. The popularity of this trail speaks to the allure of combining breathtaking scenery with the adrenaline rush of extreme heights. The elevation gain is approximately 2,100 feet, adding a challenging ascent to the breathtaking experience. Number 8. Base Jumping from Trolltunga, Norway What's all this? We're base jumpers, dude. We jump off stuff. Trolltunga, or Troll's Tongue in Norway, has become a base jumping hotspot. Daredevils leap off this iconic rock formation, free falling before deploying parachutes. The limited margin for error and the need for precision make base jumping from Trolltunga a daring pursuit reserved for those with extensive training and expertise. The free fall distance is around 700 feet, heightening the intensity of this exhilarating leap. Number 7. Cave Diving in the Blue Hole, Belize The Blue Hole in Belize is a renowned diving site that includes intricate underwater cave systems. Cave divers explore dark passages with unique geological formations, managing challenges such as silt and tight spaces. This activity requires specialized training, emphasizing the allure of the Blue Hole for divers seeking a stunning underwater world. The depth of the Blue Hole is approximately 407 feet, adding to the complexity, allure, and danger of this underwater expedition. Number 6. Gorilla Trekking in Volcanoes National Park, Rwanda Gorilla trekking in Volcanoes National Park, Rwanda combines excitement with the inherent dangers of navigating challenging terrain and encountering wild animals. And we've got the mother of all gorillas, the silverback right there. He's just watching us. While the experience promises an intimate interaction with endangered mountain gorillas in their natural habitat, the trek through dense forests and steep slopes poses physical challenges. The gorillas, though habituated, are unpredictable, adding an element of risk. 
trekkers must adhere to strict safety measures and guidelines, guided by professionals. The gorilla here is safe, is in great, great place and also with the plan they have for the future to, to make it bigger. Number 5. Wingsuit Flying in Chamonix, France Chamonix, nestled in the French Alps, becomes a playground for wingsuit flyers seeking the ultimate descent. The extreme sport involves gliding at high speeds, skimming past mountainous terrain. The breathtaking landscapes provide a stunning backdrop, but the risks are inherent. Strict adherence to safety measures and top-notch skills are imperative for those attempting this adrenaline-fueled activity. Wingsuit flyers can reach speeds exceeding 120 miles per hour, emphasizing the sheer velocity of this breathtaking descent. Number 4. Volcano Boarding at Cerro Negro, Nicaragua Cerro Negro's volcanic slopes in Nicaragua beckon thrill-seekers who board down its ash-covered surfaces. With speeds reaching up to 59 miles per hour, protective gear is essential. The big risks include navigating uneven terrain and potential volcanic activity. Volcano boarding requires a unique set of skills and a fearless attitude. You go really fast, you kind of lose control a little bit, but you know, you get the hang of it after a little bit. The descent covers approximately 1,600 feet, providing an exhilarating and rapid journey down the volcanic slopes. Number 3. Climbing Mount Everest Scaling Mount Everest, the world's highest peak, demands intense physical and mental fortitude. Many have perished in the attempt. Once you cross over into the death zone, you have a third the oxygen you have at sea level. Your cognitive abilities are really jeopardized. Climbers face the harsh realities of altitude sickness, frostbite, avalanches, and treacherous crevasses. The ascent is a test of endurance, skill, and determination, with climbers navigating unpredictable weather conditions and overcoming substantial physical hurdles to reach the summit. Mount Everest stands at 29,032 feet, presenting a formidable challenge and making it the ultimate test of mountaineering prowess. If you plan for oxygen, let's say, to go to the summit in eight hours and return in four hours, so you need three bottles of oxygen. But then if you stand in lines for four or five hours, well, then the calculation doesn't work anymore. Number 2. Crocodile Cage Diving in Australia and South Africa Cage diving with crocodiles provides an up-close encounter with these fearsome reptiles. The crocodile curious enter a protective cage, submerging themselves in crocodile-infested waters. The thrill lies in observing these powerful creatures up close, emphasizing the need for meticulous safety protocols and secure equipment to ensure a controlled and exhilarating experience. I just heard a big bang and turned around and seen the cage falling in on its side. The protective cage offers an intimate view of crocodiles in their natural habitat. Didn't expect it to be that close, to be that intensive, so I wasn't that nervous. <laughs> Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. Running Across the Marathon des Sables in the Sahara Desert The Marathon des Sables unfolds as a grueling ultramarathon across the vast expanse of the Sahara Desert, spanning approximately 155 miles over six days. Participants endure scorching temperatures, challenging sand dunes, and limited resources in a true test of human endurance. It's been insanely hard. I cannot believe the, the level of dedication the race requires not only exceptional fitness, but also self-sufficiency and a profound understanding of desert survival. Yesterday uh, at night, I started having some stomach issues, I was completely dehydrated. The scorching desert temperatures can reach up to 120 degrees Fahrenheit, intensifying the physical and mental demands of this extraordinary ultramarathon. We know there are a lot more dangerous activities for tourists. Tell us what they are in the comments. This is tough. It's beautiful. That's what makes Marathon de Sable special. Did you enjoy this video? Check out these other clips from WatchMojo. And be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.